uh, looks like Afterburners having a hard time recognizing this device because it's brand new. But you can see it's still the 5060 by MSI. It's the shadow MSI version of the card and it's 8 GB. And it's paired up with the 9800X3D running at base speeds and a 64 GB of DDR5 memory running at 6000 MHz. And Doom the Dark Ages is a really GPU heavy card because of the inbuilt ray tracing. And you definitely need more than 8 GB of VRAM to run this game smoothly on higher settings. So let's see how uh, the 5060, the budget 50 series card, performs in Doom the Dark Ages on 4K, 4040p and 1080p. So do not even think of playing this game on DLIA settings, any native settings with an 8 GB card. So the best way to do it is on ultra performance and high settings and keep the texture pool size always to the lowest in any 8 GB card for smoother gameplay. So we are here on high settings, DLSS ultra performance, we're getting 60 something FPS which is just pretty playable. But it will drop into the 50s when you are in a fight, just like here. So it's dropping down into the 50s, but pretty much staying above 60s most of the time, but it can still drop down into the 50s. So uh, you can uh, go all the way down to the lower settings, and then you can be able to achieve 60 plus FPS all the time. Which is what we are trying here, so going all the way from high to low, and uh, the VRAM is in the safe range because it's not red anymore and yes you can see it's staying about 80 fps which is also really playable but you gotta remember this is ultra performance on 4k which means it's actually upscaled from 1080p so i expect similar kind of experience on 1080p settings on low settings okay so yeah that's 4k so these are the only way to play this game on 4k if you ever have a 4k monitor with a 5060 which I go against absolutely 100% because you should not be having a 4K monitor with a card like this, so yeah. Now let's uh, see how it is on 1440p. So you can see here even on DLAA 4040p settings, on low settings, still pushing the VRAM limit. Yeah, so yeah, it's because of the ray tracing. And uh, you can see getting less than 40 FPS using almost 8 GB of VRAM. The only good thing about this is it's using only 100 watts of power. This is the best thing about this card. It runs really poorly, but at least it's not using a lot of power, right? So, yeah, you cannot play DLA native settings 1440p with this card. And I was a little curious to see how it's going to perform with a little bit of upscaling on nightmare settings. And um, it was underwhelming. So a uh, nightmare. I mean, DLSS quality means it's 1080p upscaled to 1440p, but we are still not able to get 60 FPS on nightmare settings. So, if you're ever planning to play this game on 1440p, just stick to high settings or medium and DLSS quality on 1440p. If you have a 5060, if you ever plan to buy this card, which is again, I am not recommending this card to anybody, it's not a good card. But if you have a 1080p monitor, maybe. Other than that, yeah, and now instead of uh, DLSS quality and nightmare settings, let's try DLSS quality high settings and see if that gets us to 60 plus FPS from 40 FPS on uh, nightmare settings to barely 60 FPS. So yeah, even on high settings with DLSS quality, you're not able to get 60 FPS in a fight scene like this and in this open area. Yeah, pretty un underwhelming, I know, but uh, that's what $300 in 2025 gets you from NVIDIA. Okay, now let's try in performance. Instead of quality, let's go performance mode and same settings, high settings. So that will finally get us about 60 FPS, a safe 70 to 80 FPS range. So, uh, which means you're playing the game on 720p upscaled to 4040p right now, which is kind of crazy. Thinking you gotta pay $300 for this experience to play on 720p. All thanks to DLSS 4, isn't it? Because uh, DLSS, if it, this was DLSS 3.5 or something, it might not look this good on these settings. But yeah, at least there's DLSS 4 to save the day. Ah. Okay, now let's try it out on the ground that this card is marketed for, which is 1080p. And we are testing it out on 1080p DLAA Ultra Nightmare. Maxed out on 1080p. Okay, 
using almost 8 gigabytes of VRAM again and still getting less than 60 FPS. So even on 1080p native settings you cannot max this game out unfortunately but uh, it's like close to a 60 FPS experience. This is terrible. All right. This is why we need more VRAM. Even though the frame time graph is pretty smooth, a more VRAM should have definitely helped in this scenario. Now finally on 1080p we are bumping down the super resolution to quality settings instead of native DLAA, hoping that we can get stable 60 FPS on Ultra Nightmare. And finally, finally we are able to get more than 80 FPS. 60 FPS actually. And uh, I don't think it's gonna drop below 60 because you can see the 0.1% lows is staying well above 70 FPS. So if I had, if, uh, if this was my daily driver card and if I wanted to play Doom the Dark Ages with a 1080p monitor, this would be the settings that I would go for because you are getting the maxed out settings but with a little bit of upscaling and uh, it doesn't look that bad because of the DLSS 4's upscaling technology. It looks pretty crisp and even on 4K monitor it doesn't look that bad so pretty sure it's gonna look really crispy on a 1080p monitor. So uh, that's, uh, that's all the settings for the normal things and now let's move on to some frame generation and see how things go. So we are staying on the same settings, DLSS performance, I mean DLSS quality, and now turning it on 4x frame gen. So uh, frame gen activation will take more VRAM, because frame generation uh, definitely needs more VRAM to work on, so let's keep that in mind. Okay, so if you're trying to turn on frame generation on an 8GB card on 4K or something, you are going to have a terrible input lag okay i mean frame gen introduces input lag if it's not 60 fps if you're not getting 60 60 fps base on any setting and if you turn on frame generation you're gonna face a lot of lags okay you can actually feel it but in this case you don't feel it because you're getting about 60 70 fps base so getting 240 fps with frame gen 4x it actually feels quite smooth i gotta say okay so yeah, there you go, frame gen. Uh, you get some impressive numbers, but do I recommend it? No, I don't recommend frame gen on any card, on any game. All right, so there it is. Okay, now let's see uh, some optimized or 60 FPS settings on each of these three resolutions on 4K, 1440p and 1080p. So on 4K, it's better to go with either the Asus Ultra Performance high settings or medium settings for 60 plus FPS. In uh, the open area, you might lose some FPS, but it probably will stay about 60 FPS most of the time. And on 4040p, you can stay DLSS quality high or ultra settings and get 60 plus FPS. And on 1080p, you can go uh, DLSS quality and ultra nightmare if you want the best visual fidelity, but have more FPS. Or you can go just DLAA and get some lesser FPS for more, you know, picture quality yeah it's up to you so yeah these three settings are what i recommend on this card and uh, this is how it looks side by side okay now let's take a look at uh, just native low settings okay side by side comparison and this is what it looks like so this is uh, what the 5060 can offer you on uh, native low settings in doom the dark ages 4k 4040p and 1080p all right guys that's uh, that's it for doing the dark ages on the 5060 and uh, yeah i hope you guys find this video really helpful if it did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel we'll be doing a lot more benchmarks on different gpus so yeah stay tuned i hope you guys are having a great time wherever you are i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out